and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hello there, everybody. I can't look at you as I'm driving, and I'm driving on the M5 motorway, so I don't want to lose concentration. Anyway, hello, everybody. Uh, another road trip uh, video slash review slash fun times ahead, hopefully, uh, video today. Uh, we are on our way at this point in time, about 40 minutes from Queenie's house, to pick up a, an amp and a cab. Now the cab is from the 60s, it, well, it, I believe, we'll see when we get there. It could be early 70s, but I don't actually know. But it's got two Fane speakers in it, F-A-N-E. And ever, I think, I believe they're the same speakers in this cab that were used in high watt amps. So, Pete Townsend, basically. Um, but we will find out when we get it back. I'll, I'll take the back panel off and we'll have a look. And uh, as usual, people, Jim, you'll know more than I will, so, Comment below when we get to that point if you know what they are. Okay, so that's the cab. It looks really cool. It's very beaten, but it looks really cool. And I believe it's a 212, or it could be a 210. I'm not sure. Uh, the head is an FAL FAL uh, a Phase 50 PA head. And it's a four channel PA head with no, no built in reverb or anything. It's just like thingy, uh, just like four volt. Uh, treble bass four volumes and a master volume and we're going to see if we can overdrive it it's solid state and i believe it's from the 70s this one and again we'll have it apart as well and make sure it all is what it's supposed to be because i know the last thing i want to do is plug in an old amp that's been extremely modded for it to just go bang and sound fire and blow up in my face anyway boomer tube you'll see them soon enjoy the road
Talking about Boop Tube, we are back. And this is what I have bought. So, this is the FAL, the FAL, uh, Phase Mark 50 Mark III. It's basically a PA head. But uh, I've already had a bit of a go on it. And I can't wait for you to show. But it's basically this thing does two sounds. There's really, really clean and overdrive. And the overdrive is immense. I can't wait to show you. It's solid state, 50 watt. Um, it's just really, really cool. So you got four volumes, a master volume, and then you got bass and treble. And the bass style is basically unusable because as soon as you get it to there, it's just like, bruh, just punishingly, it's too bassy, too bassy. Uh, so that's the head. Uh, I think this is from the 70s. I don't exactly know if it's early or mid or late 70s. If anybody out there knows, please let me know. I'm, I've been having a real hard time finding any information really about any of these things. But that's the head. That's It's basically a PA head, but it sounds great for guitar. Sounds great for bass as well. Queenie plugged into it. Sounded absolutely immense. There will be a video on her channel as well at some point with this. Uh, it might have already been. I'm not sure. Um, but that, that's the head. Really, really cool. Love it to bits. Uh, 50 watt solid state vintage thing. FAL. I've wanted an FAL for a while as well. Anyway, uh, so the cab didn't start out life as a cab. So this is RSC. Uh, and basically, this was originally a bass amp, or bass guitar amp. I think it was called, like, the Bass Major. And uh, if I come over the back here, I don't know how well you're able to see it, but if I come into the back, uh, you can see there the cutout for the amp chassis. That's where the amp chassis would have been, but it's been modified, basically. I'm guessing the amp might have blew up or something happened to it at some point, and somebody uh, converted it to uh, a cabinet instead, just like a 212 cab. So these aren't the original speakers. Like I say, uh, I'll show you a bit of footage in a minute of the, the two Fain blue casket uh, cast speakers in the back. Uh, this one is different to this one. Um, I'm pretty sure that's still a Fain speaker, but I could be wrong. I say, people of the tube, when you see the footage in a second, let me know because I'm not 100% sure. But that's the cab. Like I say, it's absolutely... There's the shadow of the uh, camera, but it's trolled, and I absolutely adore door how it looks i love this rip in the tollwex here i mean this this is old this tollwex is very old this well everything here is old but um it's super cool it's absolutely super cool and uh i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna save these feigned speakers because uh personally i really want to gig this cab so i think what i'll do is i'll replace these two speakers with two celestians and um go out using this cab live because it just looks too cool and it's it, i want it to do its job so i might be using this live from now on i don't, I don't know we'll we'll see uh it's like a plywood uh box as well it's not like um like uh proper wood or anything like why well, it's kind of yeah it's bit bitty wood but it's cool i mean it's lived this long uh and again if anybody knows anything about rsc like i said i believe this was called the bass major which was a guitar and bass amp from the 60s. Again, I'm not sure what era of the 60s. I don't know if it was uh, early or late or whatever. But um, either way. Anyway, Pillar Tube. So, uh, next thing you're going to see is the speakers. So, let me show you the speakers. These are the famed speakers inside the R RSA? <laughs> RSPCA cab. That one bombs missing... I'm guessing, well, either a sticker or a cap, I don't know. It's not the same speaker as on the top. This uh, this top speaker is a different one altogether. It's got something written here that I can't make out for the life of me. But if anybody knows anything about these speakers, uh, year, what they are, whatever, I believe they're 20, 25 watt speakers, give or take. Uh, I think they're like something stupid, like 15 ohm or something like that. Anyway, uh, if anybody can give me some history, please let me know. There's no codes... Or anything I see apart from that one, which is 1572, but that's just a sticker. I don't know if that means anything. If anybody knows anything, please let me know. But these are the speakers. Sound awesome. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's the, uh, like I said, a Fane blue cast speakers. I'm pretty sure the bo bottom one is a Fane. I don't know, though. Like I say, people tube, you'll know better than I will. Let me know. But that, obviously that top one definitely is. Uh, it's very heavy. This cabinet, I mean, only a 212, and it's only kind of like plywood. But it's really heavy. And again, plywood. Is that a 60s thing or would that be kind of an early 70s thing? I have to let us know in the comment section below. Anyway, Pillar Tube. So now what we're going to do, we're going to turn it on. 
and uh, basically what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to show you straight into the amp. Uh, we're going to use uh, three different guitars. We're going to use uh, Mr. Goldtop here, which I'm in love with. Uh, we're going to use uh, the uh, Mr. White uh, for single coils, and we're going to use the Revelation for P90s, and I'll let you hear it with both. So basically what I'll do is I'll start with it clean. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the volume up all the way on volume one. We're just going to use channel one. They're all the same, basically. Um... I'm going to leave bass all the way off. I'm going to leave treble all the way up. Because it's... I don't know if it's the speakers or the amp. But whatever it is, it's really dark. So you need the treble cranked. Um, so volume all the way up. Bass on nothing. Treble all the way up. And then basically what I'm going to let you hear is master volume at 12 o'clock. And then basically on the same kind of clip, I'll crank it to, t uh, to all the way up. And let you hear the overdrive. Hopefully without killing the, uh, the camera in the process. Because it's loud... But it's not really loud, if that makes sense. When this thing's cranked, it's not, oh my god, I can't hear anything and my, my teeth are falling out loud. It's 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 just kind of like, you know, it's quite dealable actually, to be honest with you. And it's not a harsh sound. It's a really dark, warm, classic overdrive sound when it's wound all the way up. So, anyway, people with tube. Uh, oh, please, I wish I had a trouble booster. I don't have a trouble booster, but if I did, we'd be running it today. But unfortunately, I don't have one with me, which is very annoying. I left it at home. Damn it. Anyway, uh, we're going to start with Mr. White and we'll work our way through. So, single coils, P90 is humbuckers. And then, basically, at the end, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my pedal board into it and uh, basically just jam out at the end. So, anyway, that's enough waffle. Let's uh, Let me let you hear this thing.
There you go. That's the sounds of the uh, the Fal 50 Mark III and basically the two Fane speakers inside the RC RSC cab. Excuse me. Uh, just SM57 on the top uh, Fane speaker. Uh, like I said, I did mess with the treble with the Stratocaster. You probably saw me doing that's the treble dial. Other than that, it was on 10. I basically had it cranked. Uh, so basically, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my pedal board in, see how it does, uh, how it deals my, with pedals, and. Um, this should be fun. So, without further ado, let's unplug this. Get this lead. If it'll reach, it will. Just, hang on, come on, there we go. So now, the pedal board is in. Let's see what noises it makes. Okay, bit of a tube, this is just clean. This is just the, uh, the FAL.
Thank you.
Okay, Dr. Pikachu, there you go. Uh, I don't know what else to say, really. I'm in love slightly. Oh my god, hello. Uh, this thing is an amazing setup. I don't think I'll be changing the speakers on this anytime soon. Do you, people of the tube? I think I'd be an idiot, don't you think? I do. These speakers sound immense. This whole setup is really dark, though. It's like, you know, it's... I had the treble flat out for most of this video, and it still seemed really dark and low-endy. Uh, it makes me wonder... Well, it makes me think, I reckon it's the speakers. Because uh, the speakers in my 68 Marshall cab, the original uh, greenbacks in that, they're really dark. You know, be, and a, a lot of the old speakers are darker. I mean, they started to get brighter in the 70s. But these are super dark sounding speakers. And I really like that. You really, uh, on my 68 Marshall, you really have to use the EQ. You know, you really have to crank up the EQ to get it to... Uh, to be brighter it's not like um the magic cab here not like my jcm 900 or any of my other cabs it's a lot darker this one's definitely got a lot more in common with the 68 marshall than uh than in, than any of the other cabs does um but it's a very dark sound but i like it i really like it hopefully it came across okay i did move the mic at one point in as well closer to the center of the speaker because i thought maybe about here might be a bit too dark so you saw me doing that just kind of pushing it in a bit but other than that this thing's amazing. I've wanted an FAL. I wanted to try the foul for a long time. FAL foul. I've wanted to try one for a long time, and that does not disappoint. I love the clean tone. I love the way it takes pedals. It takes pedals like an absolute beast. Uh, and I love the overdrive you get from this thing when you crank it to the T. Oh my god, does it sound immense? Uh, for my pedal board, people of the tube, I had the volume uh, turned down a bit. I had the volume on uh, input one down at one o'clock. Uh, obviously the other two in, uh, other three inputs I had on zero and I had the master volume at about 10 o'clock I think it was uh, it, it wasn't it wasn't cranked but it was loud but loud enough you know not not too loud but loud enough um, and also I had bass on zero and treble all the way up and it just sounded immense I really love how thick and dark the whole sound was it was amazing hopefully it came across okay on the camera uh, uh, through the 57 but um, yeah, I, I, I just love it. I absolutely love this stuff. It's, it looks so cool as well. Uh, I really love it to bits. I love like, you know, all the fact that the, the grill cloth's ripped here and ripped there and that it's a bit trolleyed around the outside. It's got so much character and vibe to it. And again, you know, for being a 60s, I would say it's like a 60s car, but it's a 70s head. For being as old as they are, I mean, crikey, you know. Uh, the only thing that, does need happening is the master volume on the foul is it's very scratchy and it can get a bit intermittent so i'm gonna have to get in there at some point and clean these pots out uh i do apologize with my phone other than that it's amazing um i don't know i won't be replacing the speakers but i don't know what i'll be able to run through this cab being that they're only 20 watt speakers or 20 25 watt speakers running at 15 ohm I don't really know what that would equate to ohm wise, and I, and the power handling basically maximum is going to be like fifty watt. Um, it's why when you crank this thing up, you get so much break up. Uh, it's funny actually. I got more. I think I got more overdrive with the P nineties than I did the humbuckers in the gold top. But saying that the P nineties are quite high on the revelation, the the gold tops humbuckers are, are, are low, as as you've seen if you've seen the video, you'll know. Um, but yeah, I, it sounds great. The, the strat sounded immense for it. Mr. White sounded immense for it as well. I just, I, everything sounded immense. Everything sounded immense. It sounds immense. I love this. And it looks so cool. And I'm so happy to, ha like, to have this. It's just, ah! I love it. Anyway, but people too, if you know what the homage of this and what the power handling of this cab will be, if they're like 20, 25 watt speakers, uh, 15 ohm speakers, uh, which is really weird, you know, 50 no. But again, you know, it is what it is. Uh, apparently, that's what they are. Again, if 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 they're not 50 no speakers, let me know in the comment section below because that's all I've been able to find out online is that the uh, the Fane Blue Cast speakers were 15 no uh, and 2025 20, watt uh, uh, speakers. So let me know in the comment section below if you know more than I do because that's probably very. I don't know what I'm on about. Anyway. You probably know more than me is what I want to say. Uh, I'll get there in the end. He's got a brain. Anyway, people of the tube, I'm out of my mind because I've just lost it with 
playing through all this stuff. It sounded great. I love this amp and I love this cab. It just looks so cool. Oh my god. I can't get over this. This is so cool. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the amp and the cab and the noise this thing made. I hope you enjoyed this little road trip vid. Vintage goodness. We'll say that. Uh, it's just so cool. I mean, how cool does that cab look? And again, with the head on top, it just looks... There are no words. There are no words uh, other than I'm in love, people with YouTube. That's, that's all I can say. I just love... I love this old solid state stuff. Uh, a lot of people will say, oh, it's rubbish, it's rubbish, it's rubbish. It really isn't. But, you know, that sounds immense. And again, with a treble... Can you imagine what it would sound like with a treble booster if it was on 10? I'm so annoyed at a mirror treble booster. That will be another video, people with YouTube. At some point, I will get a treble booster running through this setup and I'll let you hear that. But my God... It's so cool. The only thing I wish the head had was a reverb. But I'm not going to kick up too much to think about that. I could always use uh, reverb inside my pedal board on the Zoom. Or use the uh, Tone City Tiny Spring, which I've got up there. But I'm not going to complain. I'm really not. This thing sounds absolutely awesome. And again, I don't know where like this old Solid State is crap stuff comes from. Because this amp sounds immense. But hey, that's me. I, I love Solid State stuff. I love the old Solid State stuff as well. This just sounds cool as monkey's teeth um but yeah anyway i'm gonna let you go people tube i hope you enjoyed this vid uh, if you like the vids i do here please consider becoming a patron at patreon it really helps me out uh basically i can't do it without it at this point in time i can't do this channel without my patreon it's just not gonna happen uh it's what's keeping me afloat it really is so if you are a patreon patron on patreon thank you so much indeed i i can't voice in words how much it, the support means to me and how much it helps it, it's just like i say you you keep this channel going you know you really do it's it's, it's all you anyway um as well as link for that description in the description box as well as a link to my uh band camp as well please go to my band camp and listen to some music on there that where i've done uh, on my own and also with uh, john joe and queenie um and there's also a link to the merch store as well so anyway uh hope you enjoyed this vid people tube Foul Phase 50 Mark III and the RC, RSC, what was it, Bass Major Cab now. It's it's not an amp anymore. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought, people YouTube. I'll see you again. Have a great one until then. Have a great morning, afternoon, good evening. Goodbye now. Thank you for watching.